This is Shadi Reyes, uh, CVI 2019. With me is Scott Lilly. He is Associate Professor at Ohio State, and he is the Chair of the American College of Cardiology Early Career Council. Welcome, Scott. Oh, thanks. It's nice to see you again, catch up a little bit. Absolutely. So, um, wellness, you told me before we went live, is about wellness and early career. Yeah. This is your vision. Tell us what's your planning for. Yeah, so the, the concept of wellness has come up across the House of Medicine, from the ABIM to the AMA, and, and really in, in a number of different subspecialties of medicine. You can't like open up a new periodical without seeing wellness with a capital W somewhere. Uh, um, within the early career council of the ACC, uh, we've tried to uh, distill that a little bit because you know wellness can be reframed as you know frustration with the electronic medical record, with prior authorization, all the sort of points and clicks that we have to do uh, in our day-to-day -day life that take us away from patient care. Uh, one of the themes that that we've talked about quite a bit is uh, wellness, or the concept of wellness, seems to be different depending on the stage of career that you're at. And and I would submit, I think you would agree that uh, folks in early career cardiology are pretty facile with EMRs and we're getting our notes done generally on time and uh, we found clever ways to do the billing at the end of the note. And so although that's a burden and of course a, a more efficient EMR would, would improve our lives, I think from an early career perspective, wellness uh, is related more to things like work-life balance, right? Are, are we getting home on time? Are we able to spend time with our children? Uh, do we have a career trajectory? Like how do we fit into the group or into the academic institution that we work at? Uh, and so satisfaction or professional satisfaction is a little bit different than how you might define it if you were in mid or late career. So I'm going through this right now is, as you said, the billing and electronic is not a burden, but building a practice, being safe, um, available, and then being avail having time with your family is always a struggle. So what is your kind of top three advice for early career? Yeah, so I think that, um, you know, I, I've used this myself. I, I wasn't prepared to answer exactly three things, but I'll tell you how I, uh, how I approach it. One or two. <laughs> uh, um, I, I think you have to know where you want to go. And, uh, and, you know, me personally, and I think in a large part our generation, we want things quickly, right? We're, we're assertive, we're aggressive. Training was different, you know, when we went through than it was 20 years ago. Right. But if, if you know where you want to go and you're in a situation where you can get there, that means that the other cardiologists in your practice are supporting you, uh, you have a defined trajectory, and you simply just keep working at it. Uh, th that's the key. Um, I, I think where f people can get lost and, and where I've struggled from time to time is where I don't have a clear vision of where things are heading. Um, and, and if you think about it, that's the same uh, spirit that we use to get through medical school and res residency and, inter and all those kind of things. Right. Uh, and if you simply apply it to professional life, then, uh, then it's helpful. It also helps you say no to things, right? Uh, if, if, you, if you're on one path and there's a, a great opportunity somewhere else, you can say, no, I'm gonna go home and spend time with the kids. And, and a, in, a, in a way, it's liberating. It frees you up to enjoy life with capital L yeah. uh, and still try to have a, a rewarding career. So time management is critical, right? And um, there is, a, I feel like lack of mentorship is, is also sometimes uh, can it be a burden doesn't help you where to get you know where you want to get but um, the mentorship helps and time management but I see you are very successful in ACC you are the uh, chair of the Adelaide Career Council how do you manage having this extracurricular activities practice and still write and publish textbooks and articles yeah uh, my plate's very full but uh, but I love it and the you know, society membership, and in particular the ACC, is another dimension to my career, and, and I value that. Um, you've been in situations, I'm sure, and I've been in situations, of course, where you're, you're at your institution, you go in, you take care of patients, you, you do the procedures and different things, and then you feel like it's sort of Groundhog Day again and again and again, and you look around and like, right, what's happening here? Uh, society yeah, membership. In the same place. Yeah, and, 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 and that's another dimension. And so if you, if you foster that and you spend energy and time and you do a good job in that, yeah. you always have a community outside of your normal job. And, and there's tremendous value in that. And the same goes in a lot of respects for publishing, right? When you write papers, I know when you've written papers, you're on with authors from different institutions, right? There's emails and phone calls going back and forth. And that professional network gives you satisfaction you can't get simply at your institution. Absolutely, yeah. So uh, writing, committee involvement, taking care of good, good care of patients, being a good doctor is like the goal for any early career. Last thing for the people, how do you enjoy, of Scott Lilly, the father? Oh, how I... How do you enjoy your time? 
Uh, I'm the luckiest dad in the world. Uh, I'll say that. Three boys, uh, two, four, and seven. So it's WrestleMania at my house every night. Uh, when, uh, when we're going to have a boys club time, we, the, the boys club is called the Golden Dragons. I let the oldest pick the name for our, our club. And we go outside. So we camp a lot. We get in the water. We fish. And, uh, and you can imagine fishing with a four-year-old is more like just setting up the, the, the rod for it to get tangled again. So I do a lot of that kind of stuff. It's awesome. a beautiful time of life. And, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. Absolutely, yeah. Thanks so much, Scott. This is a very thoughtful advice for our early career there and also fellow in training who's coming to be an early career. Thanks for your time. Welcome to CVI and looking forward to talk to you again. This is uh, CVI 2019. Watch this video and others on the YouTube channel. Thank you. Thanks, Scott. You got it.